This is 3 Minute Math with Mr. White. In this 3 Minute Math video, we're going to cover how to multiply two binomials using the FOIL method, which is an acronym to help you multiply two binomials. And here we have a simple example where we have two binomials. We have x plus 3 and we have x plus 4. And I want to point out that they are indeed being multiplied together. So we have x plus 3 times the other binomial x plus 4. So let's get started. FOIL is an acronym, F-O-I-L, and the F stands for FIRST, so that you will remember to multiply the first two terms, in this case, x times x. You have to multiply those two things, which of course you get x squared. All right, let's move on to the O. O stands for the outside terms, in this case, x and four, and we have to remember that to multiply them. And of course, when you multiply them, you get four x. Now that we've done the outside, let's turn to the letter I, which of course stands for inside. So that will help us remember to be sure to multiply the three times the X, in this case, three times the X, which of course gives us three X. Now that we've taken care of both the outside and the inside, we have to move on to the letter L, which of course stands for last. We need to remember to multiply, let me repeat that, multiply the three and the four. You get 12. 12 when you take 3 times 4. And look here in the middle, we have like terms that can be combined. And of course, 4x combined with 3x, both positive, makes positive 7x. And we call that the middle term. So our final answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12. And we got that trinomial when we multiply those two binomials together. Please take note that we got a middle term when we did that. So this is called a trinomial. So multiplying the first, the outside, the inside, and the last terms, we got the trinomial x squared plus 7x plus 12 after combining our middle terms. Once again, we are given two binomials, and they are being multiplied. 2x minus 3 times the binomial 3x plus 4. Let's jump in and start with the first. We will need to multiply 2x times 3x. And of course we get 6x squared. Let's move on to the outside. We need to take 2x and multiply it by positive 4. And of course that is 8x. Let's move on to the inside. Here we need to multiply negative 3 times positive 3x. That would be negative 9x. Let's move on to the last. Here we need to take negative 3 and multiply it by positive 4. And of course that gives us negative 12. The final step in all this madness is to combine the like terms positive 8x and negative 9x, which gives you negative 1x, or simply negative x. So the final answer when you multiply 2x minus 3 times the binomial 3x plus 4 is the trinomial, three terms, 6x squared minus x minus 12. Now what would math be without a couple special cases? When you square a binomial, for in this example, x plus 5, that quantity squared, I need you to remember that it's not x squared plus 25. Instead, you first need to write it as the product of two binomials, x plus 5 times x plus 5. So then you can foil it out and you get x squared plus 10x plus 25. And you notice, the answer is not x squared plus 25, there is a middle term there, 10x. The second special case that you might recognize is called a sum and difference pattern. We have 2x and we have 3. One binomial is 2x plus 3, the other one is 2x minus 3. There's something special about that when you foil it out. Outside and the inside actually add up to zero, they cancel. There is no middle term in that case. I hope you found this video helpful in reviewing how to use the acronym FOIL when multiplying two binomials. Be sure to watch for more 3 Minute Math videos, as I try to make math a little simpler and easier without wasting your time. This is Mr. White, we'll see you next time.